Hello everyone, Emily Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do a snowy plover, which is a bird. I didn't even know it was a bird till someone asked me to draw it, so I suddenly thought, yes, love when people ask me to draw things. So let's make a start. We just need um, a piece of paper that's landscape. It doesn't have to be landscape, but it's quite cool if it is. And then we need a pencil. So let's let's make a start. We're going to do a round circle. So think jacket potato. Can't go wrong with a jacket potato, can you? I love a jacket potato, especially with cheese. Oh, delicious. So we want a rounded jacket potato. Try and go round it more than once if you can, because then you get the sort of shape that you want. And then if you touch, like if you go round the jacket potato, and then you kind of get to about there, and you just do like a little line, just a little line, if you can see one coming out there, and then you're going to go, it's almost like an egg, it reminds me of half an egg. So just do that type of shape, just like that. And then what you want to do is once you've touched just about there, you want to just go around the jacket potato and then cut it a little bit off and do a tail. So can you see what I've done? I did that, but then I did that. So it's almost like I'm making a straight line. So if, I, if you missed that, because that was a little bit tricky, <laughs> we did a little line there and then around like half an egg and then if you follow the jacket potato just about there and then cut it off just about there so it's all using your eye really just trying to gauge how to do it and then come back and then you're going to draw attach this to this if you're not quite sure how to do that you could just touch that bit there and just go all the way down might be a bit easier so just see how you get on and then we're gonna at the end do a little va lying down <laughs> then another va lying down and then you're gonna go oh <laughs> so you're gonna attach it and then we want to sort of cut pieces of the jacket potato off because that will make it look like it's got more shape the body so just go right down go down the jacket potato like you normally would but then cut it a bit off, off here so this is your jacket potato line. I'm going to cut it a little bit off and then go around. So now all I want to do is I am going to go really dark around the bits I want now. And the rest I'm going to rub out because you only needed all of that for the guideline. Can you see the chunky bits? Those are the bits I want to keep. So if you get a rubber, I'm using chalk for this one, but you could use anything, it doesn't matter. So get a rubber, and I'm gonna rub out this line. I'm gonna rub out a bit of that jacket potato line. It depends how light you've done it. If you've drawn it really light, you don't really need to rub anything out. It's like maths. I quite like showing the guidelines in my drawings. I think it looks quite nice, but some people don't, so. If you don't, you can just rub out your guidelines. But there's a lot of artists out there that, you know, have a guideline, sketchy guideline, and they keep it, and it looks really good. I might show you one time, actually, something I've done that has all the sketchy lines. So that's the body of the bird, the snowy plover. <laughs> just reminds me of a plover. Is it a plover? raspberry pullover okay right so now we need the legs but um before we do the legs let's do the beak so we're gonna go just like a little ver tiny little ver lying down and then the beak's kind of quite small and it kind of goes down and it goes that so you don't want too much of a pointy bit on the end you don't really have to have one and then we've got a cute little eye now i love doing an eye where you color it all in but you've got a white bit so I'll just, I'll show you what I mean. It's like, you've got a tiny little white bit. And it's quite nice. Now, from what I remember, because I was looking at the picture. Oh, he's got quite a big eye, actually. Let's 
he's got quite a big eye that does that. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? I might colour his beak in, but leave a bit of white again because it looks like it's um, light shining on it. It's really cool. So there is the eye, the beak. Now we want to draw lines. We could draw the lines with the chalk probably. Let's be honest, let's do that. It's just I'm waiting for that to dry. Now snowy plovers, I think they're mostly on the beach uh, because when I looked at the pictures of them, they're all on the sand and they're all on the stones. So I really want to draw stones because I think they look quite really cool if we colour them in. So just, just about here, just draw like a little, little itty bitty leg. And then next to here, just draw another one. Now his feet, if you think about his chunky little bit there, well, I might just colour these in with my felt tip, but you could colour them in in pencil because you'll know that you've got to colour it in when we do the chalk or whatever we're colouring in with. And then you want to just, just going to do, now you won't see all of his feet because he's covered in stones. They look like mini jacket potatoes, don't they? As long as it looks like stones. <laughs> make sure they look like stones so that is that's the I would say that's the drawing that's every element of the drawing that we want oh I've lost my lid <laughs> so once we've done that we're going to start to colour in so what you want to do is get ready with the chalk so I am going to get these are my chalks Ta -da! I'm going to get a grey now if you don't have chalk as long as you've got a grey of some sort and I'm going to draw a line, kind of goes like that, and I'm going to colour all of this. It's a little bit tricky because I've done tip X just to show where I'm rubbing out, but you won't have that issue so you'll be fine. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a little bit on its head, just there. Hmm. I might just go round its body. Do you know what? I'm tempted to go around its body, so I'm going to hold it up like that. I quite like the idea of outlining it in black, but I'm going to go around its body in grey. And probably, if you can't see the legs, I could go around that in another colour, couldn't I? So then we're going to get black. Now, if I have a look, it's got black on its head. I love chalk for this because it's such a nice thing to do. And then I'm going to do black for the beak and a little bit of black down there. And then the eye has a little bit of black. It's got quite a lot of black actually. <laughs> and then, oh, just where I put the tip X, how annoying. <laughs> well, it's this type of shape. <laughs> I've just got to press a little bit harder. And then black on the tail. I would definitely colour the legs black. And then the eye and the beak, if you haven't done that, obviously. Let's have a look. Yeah, I quite like that. I love doing birds. I just, there's something about birds I absolutely love. If you feel that the, the grey isn't strong enough, like you can't see the outline, you could just go over in black, which I'm going to. <laughs> I like the fact I went over in grey and black. And I'll show you why, because when you get your one little finger, <laughs> Is there any other colours on it? Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. Nah, I would do a little bit of yellow maybe. Hmm. You've got some feathers. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to get maybe a sandy colour. You don't have to do this by the way. But there could be some sandy colour on its back. And then you could get white. Oh, let's smudge it. <laughs> get one little finger. And then you want to blend. I love blending. Some people don't like blending, but I love it. And then when you go round, to make him look round, you need his tummy to look round. So we're going to blend like that. And don't blend too much of the face in. Okay, blend the black. You still want to have the line. I actually quite like the white tipex. It looks alright, doesn't it? And then if you want to, you can get white. Oh no. Oh no. My pastel's broke. 
you could get white and draw the feathers in because that looks pretty awesome actually let's have a look got a little bit of white there could put a bit of white on the beak white in the eye it's all about white now isn't it i'm just putting loads <laughs> there we go right snow oh he looks cute um we're gonna do stones now on the beach now i love doing colorful stones so i probably would do like I'm going to do a blue stone and greys and greens, like pebbles. I just think they look really nice. Um, I used to collect, oh, you've probably done this before on the beach, I like collect little green bits of glass. It's not actually glass. Well, it is glass, but they're, they're tumbled glass. So the seas made it all soft and smooth and they look like little stones. They're really cute. So we're going to smudge. Don't even worry about using a different finger for this. Just smudge. Because they're stones, it's nice to do different colours, isn't it? Ah, he looks happy. Now the feet, if you haven't drawn the feet in, he's in the sand as well. So just do a couple. Now you could get the sandy colour because it's kind of sand with stones and I'm just gonna draw like that Ta -da! You could, oh no my fingers are messy you could you could leave it like that or I mean because it's sandy it looks nice to leave it like that because it's um all bobbly like sand but if you don't want to you could just smudge a little bit but there we have it, my snowy plover. I'm tempted to do a really beautiful, just gotta find it, blue kind of background because if it's near the sea, it might have a really nice sky. Right on it, depends what day it is. But it's really nice to add color, I think, to the background. Some people don't like to, but I just love adding color. There we go, and we can smudge. Smudge away. Obviously be super careful because you don't want to smudge the black. I like the idea of a bit of green as well. Don't you? Like I could imagine a bit of, oh, <laughs> my pastas. My pastas are all messy now. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I do. Oh, it's a lovely blue, isn't it? It's like a green blue. Right, I'm never going to stop now. I'm just going to carry on. <laughs> carry on and on. Right, there we have it. And there is my fingers. <laughs> there are my fingers. So once you've got exactly what you want and you're happy with it, you could even, if you like, just do a couple of black feathers, but you don't really need to. It's just nice to have a little bit of texture in the um in the bird and then sign your name voila <laughs> and then you could draw around your name i quite like doing that and there we have it your snowy Pavl pavlova your snowy plover subscribe and like and let me know how you get on and i shall see you soon